Extensor tendons have their zones of injury as well, and learning how to move those tendons in very specific ways can really help you get great results for your patients that have extensor tendon injuries. My name is Huang. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist, and this video I wanted to share with you is from my mentorship program where I, I guess I got this question, and it was how to isolate the extensor digitorum communis to like get it really moving. So I hope this video can help you. Please enjoy. All right, so the question is how do you emphasize isolated excursion of the EDC? So the EDC is the extensor digitorum communis. So the extensor digitorum communis, think about the anatomy, right? The extensor digitorum communis starts at the elbow, crosses the wrist, right? And it's four tendons basically to just um, the uh, proximal end of the uh, proximal phalanx. And the job of the EDC is MP extension. So MP extension, that's its sole job. As it crosses the wrist, it helps with wrist extension and also um, does MP extension. So the best way to isolate and do um, just the excursion of the EDC so that you're not involving the other muscles is you think, okay, if that's the sole purpose of the EDC is to, f to extend the MPs, how can we block the joints above and below? So how do we block the PIPs, CIPs, and how do we block the wrist? Well, first of all, if your hand is like this, right? So the line of a pull of the muscles is this way, up and down, and gravity pushes up and down like this, then you are in a relatively uh, gravity eliminated plane. So we're gonna block, we're gonna stop the wrist from moving, and we have to block the PIP and DIP from moving, right? And so you're gonna put them in flexion, and then you can work on MP extension, just isolated MP extension. Now if you're in this position, then it's gravity limit. If you wanna work against gravity, so here's a line of pull of your muscles and gravity is pushing down, then you're going to work against that MP, it's pushing down against MP extension, you're gonna go into MP extension. You can see the excursion of the, of the tendon, right? You can see it, you can feel it, you can put your fingers right there. Now your patients that need to do that type of excursion might not be able to have full hook fist. So one of the things that I like to do, so I like to have two types of size pens. I'll have a marker or highlighter, and then I have a pen. So at first, when they do it, if they do just extension here, then you're involving some intrinsics that are gonna work on extension. So if you put them away, you can really isolate just the extensor. So if they don't have full hook, then I'll have them try and squeeze a marker because it's bigger and then you can get them to go into isolated MP extension, right? If you want to make it harder, you do MP extension against gravity. So you just use a, a towel or up on an incline like this, right? So then you'd stop the wrist from moving, right? If you wanted to bring it, shorten it completely, then you could do this, but you don't really need to involve the wrist to be honest. If you're trying to do extensor digitorum communis glides, it's really because you're trying to work it against the scar here. So as they pull up, right, your, your tendon, if you're bringing the MP into extension, the tendon is gonna pull this way. So then you would work the scar distally. So, so the tendon and muscles are pulling proximally, you're gonna work the scar and fascia distally. And so there's like a shearing or um, a movement to help break up any scarring, to help loosen up the tissues and stuff like that. So you could start with a marker and then you'd go down to a pen because it's much smaller and you would do the same thing, right? And then if they can do it um, without it, then this is the highest level, right? So they can do it without, without it. Um, if they're really, really bad and they can't hook, then you can use Coban to kind of wrap them down uh, to help them along. Right? That way they can hold it and you're going to isolate just that particular um, tendon. I hope that helps you. Uh, that is a video on how you can emphasize isolated excursion of the extensor digitorum communis. Whether you're starting out in hand therapy or sitting to study to become a certified hand therapist, I hope these videos help you. Click the like and subscribe button for more.